Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Real Life Stories YouTube channel and I am a joyful storyteller and what I do on this channel is that I come on here and I share real life stories that can um, that you can learn from that will impact you that um, will, will be compelling that would um, you know just bless you in one way or another that's and I try to shed light on um, DV issues domestic violence and also I try to shed light on um, mental health and abuse um, so if that that's not all I do I talk about all varieties of real life stories if that kind of content um, interests you please go ahead and click the subscribe button and leave a comment tell me hi in the comment section okay all right so today I wanted to share a real life story um, my real life encounter with God how did I encounter God what were the circumstances um, that really led me to God. How have you ever encountered God? Do you have any story of um, you having, you know, just an interaction with God, an experience with God, um, something that really made you to conclude and to decide that I know that I know that God is real, that God exists. If you've ever had that kind of encounter, Leave that experience in the comment section. Share, share, share. Let, let me know um, what your story is. So for me, um, I grew up in a Christian family, right? So mother took us to church um, back in Nigeria. And, um, you know, so I knew about God. I knew about Jesus. I knew about the Holy Spirit. If you were raised in the church, you know all these things, right? So they're there. They're in your face all the time. We pray at home. And all these things so I knew all about that but I didn't have a personal relationship with Christ I didn't have that one-on-one -on -one encounter you know God was just like over there and I'm over here okay so I didn't have any personal relationship with God so um you know some when I was a teenager I moved from Nigeria to, to the US where I live now so I moved away from family. Um, I came here to study for studies. I came here for school. And if you've not yet watched my video about uh, my real life story, I kind of gave a synopsis or a summary of my story. So you can go ahead and watch that video so that you can uh, you know, get a full picture of my story. But I moved here to study. And I kind of, you know, at first, when I first moved here, I was still going to church and I was, um, you know, still, you know, trying to keep up my faith. But at some point I lost it, right? There was nobody there taking me to church. There was nobody there pushing me to go to church. It had to be all on me. It had to be all my decision. And I really couldn't just sustain. I really could not, um, I didn't have the drive that it took to just keep going to church on my own, to keep seeking God on my own. As a matter of fact, I never saw God. I was just going to church. That was what I knew to do, but I really wasn't personally seeking God on my own. So at some point, even my church going just ended. I was not going to church anymore. Uh, you know, I was just kind of focusing on school. If you want to call it focusing, <laughs> I was, I was half focusing on school, distracted and, um, you know, had some friends around me that I was kind of focusing on. So that, that was how I was. And then maybe watching TV. I was just sort of filling, filling up my time with, um, you know, um, just nonsense. Looking back, I would call it all nonsense, right? And now looking back, I'm like, man, I have a lot of ideas of what I could have been filling up my time with. I could have been learning about finances, learning about investment, learning, you know, how to build myself up, um, in so many different ways financially um you know just building up so many skill sets i could have been doing all of that but i didn't know it's only hindsight is always 2020 20, right so, so if you're a young person watching please fill up your time with building skills with building yourself up with de developing yourself do some research about maybe um what um what field you can go into, what, you know, what, um, how you can monetize your skills, how you can, you know, just develop a relationship with God. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. So, um, at some point, um, some years, about three years after I moved into this country and the first three years were kind of for me and looking back, I'll call it aimless and just crazy. 
So three years into my stay in this country, I was invited to a women's fellowship and um, I didn't want to go. I said, I, I told my mom I wasn't going to go. At one point, my mom came and she, she moved into this country with me. I told her I wasn't going to go. And then somebody else, another member of the family, extended member of the family, came to, you know, to visit. And then it was, it was like they both ganged up against me. They weren't against me. They were for me, actually. But they, you know, ganged together and they said, hey, just go to this women's fellowship. I mean, what, what could the harm be? So I went to that women's fellowship. And, you know, I, it was like church. So I'm used to church at that point. And, you know, we were worshiping, we were fellowshipping, fellowshipping and doing everything that we do in church. And all of a sudden, God came into the room. Like, he came into this the area where I was, the section that I was sitting in. Because myself and the woman, there was a woman that was sitting next to me or around me. Somewhere, I can't remember, this was almost 20 years ago. Um, a woman was sitting close to me and she and I were just weeping out of like out of nowhere I mean it wasn't out of nowhere the person that that was leading was praying and was ministering and the atmosphere was charged with God's presence looking back but at, it, at that time we just felt like out of nowhere God just came into the room and he came into that section that we're sitting in because the, myself and the woman that was sitting next to me we were just started bawling bawling and bawling and right then and there I knew that it was God he didn't say anything. He just came in with love. I just felt love because the Bible says God is love. I just felt this strong and overwhelming sense of love that I was being loved on by the God of all creation. That was how I felt. And I felt, I felt that he just saw me. The Bible says that he's the God who sees us. Because I've been around people, family members, so many different people all my life and just felt invisible. And so maybe you feel that way. But he's the God that sees you. He knows you by name. He calls you by name. He knows the number of hairs that are on your head. He is so detailed. The way he loves us is so detailed. So he came into the room. I was bawling. The woman next to me was bawling. Um, she was, I don't even think she was English speaking because she was just speaking another some language. I don't know what it was. I was just crying and I just knew. I just became aware of all my sins. I just started repenting of all my sins. And I don't know. I, I just knew it was God. And um, you know, I began to repent of all my sins. I began to ask him that to never leave me. And I, I kept talking to him in my heart and I just wanted to keep walking with him. That was my encounter with God. He just came into the room. And when he came into the room, he just filled every void. Because at that time, I was walking around with so many questions, so many voids, so many pains, so many issues in my heart. Unspoken! Mostly unspoken. But he just came into the room. And in an instant, in one moment, he answered practically every question in my heart. He did that. And he just... Uh, made me realize that he's God. He's my father. He loves me, and that he's he that he just wants uh, to have a relationship with me, and that you know I should walk with him. And I just accepted to keep walking with him, and I've never looked back ever since. And when I say I've never looked back ever since, have I had doubts? Have I had difficult situations? <laughs> yes, I've had very difficult situations. I've had doubts. I've had trials. Te you know, temptations, difficulties. Name it. Na everybody. You know, I was wonder when some people paint the picture of their life as if everything is going perfect no i've had it's not been perfect for me i've had so many difficult diff, difficult 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 situations i have but but he i know he's been with me you know i i i don't even know i just feel his presence right here right now you know as i'm filming this video but i just want um for somebody watching this video to know that it's possible for you to encounter God. It's possible for you to meet with God. It's possible for you to have a relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ. It is possible. Oh, you know, how do you have a relationship with God? You might ask, seek Him. Open up a Bible. Or just go on your knees or just work as you're seated watching me and just say a prayer and ask God to come into your heart, to come into your life, to, that, to tell Him that you want to encounter Him. You know, just pour out your heart to Him. He will reveal himself to you. You know, he will reveal himself to you. He wants to hear from us. 
That's why the Bible says anyone who call, calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. So just call upon the name of Jesus. Tell him that you need him. Tell him that you know if you're tired of the way your life had been, tell him that you're tired of, of the way that your life had been. And just let him know that you want a new life. And he will come in. I hope that story of my encounter with God, I hope that story has been a blessing to you. And um, share with me if you've encountered God. Or if you would like to encounter God, you can leave a comment for me. Or you can send me an email on the email in my bio. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you've been blessed. Um, and I hope you have a great, great rest of your week. Take care. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video. Now, by this time.